Hi guys, Tom here. Welcome to this video. Today I got the latest GoPro action camera here. So this is the GoPro Hero 10 Black and today I'm going to unbox it and take a first look at it. The new 10 has a lot of features, a lot of new features compared to the 9, such as the HyperSmooth 4.0 stabilization, a 5.3K at 60 frames per second, and uh, most importantly, a new GP2 processor that makes all these things possible. The new processor should also make the camera a lot smoother and nicer and more pleasant to work with. By the way, if you'd like to buy this GoPro, you can check an Amazon link down in the description below, where I'll be putting a link to this camera so you can check it out, and also a link to the SD card that I'll be using in this video. Let's switch uh, to a camera so you can see my hands and uh, start opening the box. Okay, so now let's take a first look around the packaging. You can see it's just a cardboard packaging around uh, the case that's peeking through this corner right here. Now, I have to be honest, I couldn't wait to open it up, so I already ripped out this uh, paper piece here uh, and just taped it so it holds together. 23 megapixel pictures, uh, 5.3K at 60 frames per second or 4K at 120. Um, also, by the way, 2.7K at 240. So all of these values are basically double of what the GoPro Hero 9 can do. Um, all thanks to the new GP2 processor and water resistance up to 33 feet. Here you can see what's in the packaging. So it's the GoPro, the battery, one of the screws, uh, the accessory holder, the stick-on plate, USB cable uh, to charge it up and the case that's right here. Overview of more of the features. Uh, that can be found in the camera. So let's open it up. Let me just open it up like this. Just imagine there's the paper strip that you have to rip and there you go. You just pull out the case like this. Here we go. So this is the only piece of waste you're gonna get. Overall, I have to say I like this packaging very much. It's very frustration free um, and you get a very nice travel case uh, out of it as well. Let's unzip it. We got the GoPro, we got the cable, uh, we got some stuff here in this pocket as well. Picture of how to charge the GoPro and how to put the battery and the SD card in and here you can see how to use the um, plates. The manual It's uh, a short USB cable, USB-A on one end, USB-C on the other. I think at this point they could have just used USB-C to USB-C. Here is the GoPro battery. It's exactly the same as the GoPro Hero 9 battery. So if you have some 9 batteries laying around, you can use them. Uh, here is the curved plate uh, with the sticker. Okay, so here's the screw that goes into this so you can secure the camera inside. And this, this goes to all the other accessories. This is the main thing. This is the GoPro. And let me just take a look if there's something else. Okay, so that is all. The only thing uh, I, I miss here a little bit is some kind of partition. I'd like uh, them to include maybe like one or two partitions so you could put the GoPro in one and you could put like extra batteries and SD cards and cable in the other. And so it just all doesn't bang up. So let's put this aside and uh, let's take a look at the GoPro. Okay, so here you can see this paper cover. There we go. Now let's uh, remove these protective covers from the display, from the lens, and from the big display on the other side. There we go. So let's put the battery inside. Let's open up the battery. So the battery door gets opened up by you pulling this out and opening it at the same time. And as you can see, here's the place for the battery, for the SD card, and for the USB-C cable, so you can charge it up. 
So let's put the batter inside like this. There we go. And let me also put an SD card inside. There's uh, no SD card included with the packaging, so you have to buy it separately. I'm going to be using a SanDisk Extreme SD card, 256 gigabytes of storage. If you want to get this SD card, make sure to check uh, the Amazon link in the description below. I linked it there. The connectors facing the front of the camera, slide it in and click it. Here you can see um, these flaps that you can pull out of the camera so you can attach the camera to old accessories. Um, this is the same as on the 9. Just so you can compare the differences if you're using older GoPros. Uh, so you can see that it's clearly much much bigger. However, if you're on the GoPro 8 or GoPro 9, you're already used to the size difference. Um, 6 or 7, if you want to use any accessories, you have to also um, put the GoPro in the plastic case with these adapters. With the 10, you don't have to, you have it already in the camera. And let's take a look inside. There we go. This is how you switch the main modes, photo, video, and time-lapse. All right, you can see the battery freaking out a little bit. Uh, I'm definitely going to uh, software update the camera to the latest software. So I don't know, maybe it's just because I turned it on right now. Here, if you swipe down from the top of the screen, you can find this quick menu and then the typical connection and preferences. Come on. This is how you set up the camera um, lens angle. All right, interesting stuff here. You can set linear or you can set linear with horizon leveling. And as you can see, I'm moving the camera, I'm rotating it and horizon is still, if I compare it with linear and I move it, you can see that the horizon is, uh, is moving. So if I put it back to the linear and horizon leveling, you can see it's a big difference. I'm excited to test this feature out. Okay, so here is the zoom and here is the hyper smooth. You can either turn it off, put it on high or boost. Okay, let me put it on a high. Now click here and you have the video presets. You can just switch the presets that are here or you can make your own preset. You can choose if it's a video or if it's a looping, which means it's gonna be recording continuously until you need to save it. Um, now here, um, you can check uh, all the available resolutions and you can set it up so you can put 5.3K at 60 frames per second, which is absolutely insane. Um, you can set lens, so wide, linear, linear with horizon leveling and uh, narrow, all right? Um, here you can set the hyper smooth, so off, standard, or boost. Duration of the filming, you can set a timer so the filming cuts off. Hindsight. So this means you can set the video to record uh, up to 30 seconds before you press the record button. Very useful uh, for action. Uh, oriented stuff and something that you don't plan might happen and you still have your camera off. Uh, this is a timer just so you can delay the recording and of course the zoom. And here you can also set the bit rate, the shutter speed, white balance, ISO, colors, sharpness, um, audio, and stuff like that. Okay, so let's discard the changes for now. I have to go through it. Here you can see the battery and here you of course can see 
the SD card and how many hours of the chosen preset you got left. Okay, so if you turn the camera around, you can see the small display here, which is also showing the most basic information as well. Okay, guys, so this is gonna be all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm definitely gonna make more videos with this GoPro Hero 10 Black, and I'm also gonna make a video that's comparing it to the old GoPro Hero 6 that I have here. Uh, if you want to see these videos, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. If you enjoyed this video, Give me thumbs up and uh, I'll see you in the next one.